We return now with one of the Democrats who's been considering a run against Governor Chris Sununu. Senator Dan Feltis is our guest this Sunday. Thanks for joining us, Senator. Well, thanks for Appreciate inviting me, Adam. So a lot of interest in this. Uh, your plans for 2018. Tell us uh, whether you're running for governor. I well, certainly am honored by a number of folks that I respect greatly who have encouraged it and honored to be part of the discussion. Uh, Aaron and I have a seven-month-old wonderful uh, baby daughter, Iris, at home, and that's our top priority. And uh, it's just not practical to do a statewide campaign in 2018. Mm -hmm. But you will be running for re-election to the state yes, senate. Yes, yes. What, what is a winning message for Democrats in 2018? Well, I think, you know, focusing on the economy and jobs, for example, Governor Sununu, uh, after his budget went into effect, thousands of jobs were lost in the state of New Hampshire. Uh, we lost over 6,000 jobs in New Hampshire in 2017, the only state in New England to lose jobs. Uh, bulk of which coming in after Governor Sununu's budget went into effect. His budget gave massive tax breaks, additional tax breaks to big corporations, many of which with headquarters out of state, and it didn't drive job growth. We need to do workforce development and job training, invest in the middle class. Those are the kinds of things that weren't in Governor Sununu's budget. Those are the kind of things that Democrats stand for and I think we should run on. And yet Governor Sununu has relatively high job approval ratings. His favorability is up in John Lynchian territory. This is a position the Republicans were in a few years back where they had to run against a popular governor. Is it tough to do that? I mean, the policy is one thing, but then when the people like the governor, that's tough. Well, I'm not a pundit. Um, but I, I can say that, you know, we hear a lot from the press about approval ratings, this, that, the other thing. Uh, I can say that the press doesn't talk too much about the thousands of jobs that were lost under Governor Sununu's watch. Uh, and I think no one's entitled to anything in politics, Adam, even if your last name is Sununu. Let's get into some of the issues. Medicaid expansion just uh, was passed in, in the Senate. You wanted to add some workforce development aspects to this. Tell us about that aspect of what you wanted to add to the bill and why it didn't end up in there. Well, we believe in work and we believe in creating pathways to work and independence. And certainly uh, Democrats offered that uh, amendment to fill a gap in the existing legislation. Overall, really appreciate the work of Senator President Moore, Senator Bradley working together in a constructive bipartisan fashion. That's not the bill I would have drafted on my own, but it's a reasonable reauthorization to help 50,000 folks keep their health insurance, and it's the single most effective way to combat the opioid public health epidemic. Bill reform is another priority of yours. That'll be coming up uh, for a vote in the full Senate soon. Uh, we see the courts are also probably going to get involved with more of a national effort here. Uh, right. your, your legislation has been worked on and constrained. How do we ensure that the courts don't take this in a direction that I guess is too lenient on offenders? Sure. Well, bail reform actually passed uh, Senate Bill 556, bipartisan, right. Right. was on the consent calendar. Um, and uh, certainly the courts are taking some efforts too. But at the end of the day, bail reform is about economic opportunity. If you're sitting in jail uh, pending your trial, uh, just based on your income, uh, in many cases you lose your house and you lose your job, sometimes you may even lose your kids. That's not good for anybody, it's not good for the criminal justice system, and it's not good for protecting taxpayers. So we do have a governor's race left to run here. Steve Marchand has been in it for a while. We see Molly Kelly, a former senator from Keene, or the Keene area, kicking the tires. Do you have a favorite as this thing moves forward? Well, certainly, you know, you don't know what the field is until people file in June. There's a lot of time between now uh, and the election day, but I can say I have great respect for Molly Kelly. I served with her in the state Senate. Um, uh, I knew her when I was a legal aid lawyer representing low-income folks, veterans, seniors, victims of domestic violence, and had an opportunity to work with her. And so uh, I have great respect and appreciation for her uh, work. Uh, Steve, uh, I don't know as well. Uh, but I do appreciate some of the things he's been saying. All right. Senator Dan Feltus, we appreciate your time today. Thank Thanks you, for joining us. All right, that wraps up this edition of Close Up New Hampshire. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week. Have a great Sunday.